You suck at cooking, yeah, you totally suck. So you want brownies, but you don't want to make an entire pan of brownies, because if you make an entire pan of brownies, you're going to eat an entire pan of brownies, and you don't want to eat an entire pan of brownies. You just want one, a big round one. Here's how you do it. Start by grabbing a mug, not that mug, that's your favorite mug. Grab this mug. It's not your favorite, so you won't feel bad if you drop it or smash it in a fit of brownie making rage. If you're clumsy, feel free to wrap your mug in a thick sock for shock absorption and decorative purposes. Now add three tablespoons of all-purpose flour, three tablespoons of packed brown sugar, and three tablespoons of cocoa dust. Now take out your bucket of seawater and grab a healthy pinch of fresh sea salt. The reason sea salt tastes so much better is because it's chemically identical to every other salt in the world. Then fang jangle that together until you decompress the sugar and have a mug of fine, dirty baking sand. To make sure you have baking sand and not just baking dirt, build a sand castle to test it. Now put that sand back in the mug, add two melted tablespoons of unsalted butter and three tablespoons of milk. Now wang jangle that while hunting for powder pockets until you've got thick brownie sludge. If you want to do a vegan version, use some kind of nut milk and coconut oil in place of the butter. By the way, this recipe is inside my book. Ooh. Mmm. Now you want to look for the dankest melon you can find. The danker the better. They're usually pretty dank under the sink. And we'll cut that open to harvest the melon caviar, sometimes called blueberries on account of them being purple. Now add a quarter cup of the blueberries to the chocolate mud, then wang jangle that together. See you later, mother You can smush them up if you want. Careful you don't add too many or your brownies will become bloobies. Now make sure to tape up your melon afterwards and release it back into the dankitude so it can reproduce. Now if you wrapped your mug in a protective sock, make sure to remove it before you put your mug in the microwave, otherwise you might end up burning your foot. Now we'll put that on high for 80 million microseconds. If it's not cooked through at that point, put it back in for another 20 million microseconds. And now you wait, because this is hot as fudge that's been microwaved for a minute and 20 seconds, so give it 5 or 10 minutes. Now pour yourself a nice delicious glass of unsweetened almond milk so that the baking sand doesn't dry out your internal organs. Mmm, are these the best brownies ever or what? No, they're not the best brownies ever or what. They're just brownies in a mug with blueberries. And maybe that's enough. <laughs>